Tomorrow morning we will be traveling forward in time by one hour as daylight saving time comes to an end. Health educator Dr. Eric Griggs joining us now to detail the potential health impacts it could have on you. Dr. Griggs, thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. Um, and, you know, I'm tired all the time, so I don't know how, <laughs> how, I'm gonna, how it's going to be different tomorrow morning, but how does that affect you? What can that kind of do to your, um, I guess, your rhythm, the rhythm of your body? So, yeah, you're talking about the circadian rhythm. The body works basically on the circadian rhythm, the rising and setting of the sun. Uh, you have your pineal gland that detects the amount of sunlight and during the day, and as the the sun moves, uh, it uh, secretes more melatonin. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a consequence, your body starts to wind down and you get kind of used to that, mm -hmm. that rhythm and then we disrupt it tomorrow and everyone complains. And it may not seem like a lot, but we see the statistics. I mean, the potential for accidents goes up, uh, car accidents, just regular uh, accidents. Uh, people get hurt uh, the day after daylight saving time. There are statistics to show there's an uptick in all of that. And really, what kind of what what is kind of the cause and effect of that? Because you're just sleeping and you kind of wake up and you don't always realize that there was an hour missing in there somewhere. Yeah, that hour is very, very important. We always talked about we want people to get between seven to nine hours of sleep, and we've done stories before that show that uh, a, a decrease in one hour of sleep can take three to four days to, to make up for, uh, body-wise and metabolism-wise. During the week after uh, daylight savings time, the incidence of cardiovascular uh, uh, disease or uh, attacks go up by 24%. Uh, the incidence of car accidents go up by 11%. So it makes a big, big difference. And I mean, you talk about, you know, the body's sort of, um, I, I don't know if it's comparable to like a phone, like the way you charge your phone, you know, it's kind of like <laughs> your body kind of needs, you get to a certain level and you're kind of just trying to, if you, that's why if you get poor sleep, you find yourself just trying to play catch up throughout the week, just trying to get a good night's sleep to recharge. Yeah, the sleep is a time for your body to prepare, uh, to repair itself, especially phase three sleep, that deep, deep sleep prior to REM sleep. And if you miss out on an hour, it, it does take a while, just like your phone time to charge up. Seems like it charges down really quickly and takes long to charge up same thing with your your body mm -hmm. and I mean that's a big deal so we're losing the hour and uh, springing forward that's how you kind of try to remember it um, I'd assume when you fall back I mean we're not gonna fall back for quite a while now but do you, do you are you is it are you healthier when it falls back I'm just curious well it's the sudden change and disruption in the cycle that's the the issue again we're working with uh, uh, sunlight and you know the Sun will be up earlier in the morning and mm -hmm. it'll be later so it'll take time for your body to to adjust and again that that that's this disruption period mm -hmm. though it can feel better mm -hmm. in the fall and worse in the spring can, can cause, have kind of the same consequence and and look we were talking about the, the debate is always like should we get rid of it all together I mean it was created at a time when it was good for farmers and all these things what's your take on that just getting rid of it all together. So I actually went to uh, undergrad in South Bend and we didn't change. So I mean you, you, the body will adjust uh, the as the it'll it seems like it's more natural to me if you mm -hmm. follow the natural rhythm of the the seasons, sun of the yeah. seasons uh, but you know, it's, it's going to be a debate. People are going <laughs> to complain either way. Just uh, get out, exercise earlier in the morning, go to bed earlier before right. the time changes. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Eric.